I've been laying low key inside a nigga for all money is my motivation. Money keep a nigga motivated. Miley keep a nigga motivated. Parker says keep a motivated. Good drink. What's good, YouTube? You already know what's good. Smoke about it. Episode 2. And today we're going to be talking about my tattoos. What do they mean? When did I get them? Etc. All that good shit. But before we do get started on this Smoke About It episode, our first sponsor is brought to you by Vibes. They got three different kinds. These are rice cones. So yeah, they go pretty hard. That is not really the sponsor, but that would be pretty fucking dope. But anyways, give these a try, man. I used to smoke blunts all the time, but then you know what? I care about my teeth and all that type of stuff, and I don't want no type of tobacco touching my shit. And um, also for our second sponsor, this video is sponsored by Risk Take Us. This is the Hardway Tea. If you wanna know what it's about, go check out the website, risktakeus.com. So yeah, let's get started with this video. All right, so first of all, I got about eight tattoos, right? I'm gonna show y'all the ones that you can see and then the rest, I'm gonna just have to put up on photo. All right, so for the first tattoo, it's gonna be my smallest tattoo. Uh, not really, I would say I have another small one in the back of my neck. But if you can see right here, uh, see right there, all it really is is a C and the money sign. It doesn't mean any anything to me. Like, I just got it to get it. And also, that was my homegirl's first time getting a tattoo, so I guess that's what it means to me, you know? It's just her first time getting her a tattoo with me, so that was cool, I guess. But PSA, for anybody that's trying to tell you that hey, your tattoos need to mean something or or you feel like they have to mean something, they really don't. If they mean something, that's cool, good for you, you know? But other than that, tattoos just a form of art. So if you want to get something just because you fuck with it or because you think it looks cool, then, you know, get it. My other two tattoos that you could clearly see are right here on my arm. So right here it says, Veni, Veni, Veci which in Latin means I came, I saw, and I conquered. And the reason why I got that tattoo is because, like, you know, we all have our demons and shit like that, so it's just a lot of things that that I ended up conquering. That's the reason why I got that as a reminder. See those dice on my wrist? And uh, I got those because, you know, we like gambling. We like shooting dice. Be on this shit all the time. More of the story, I fuck with shooting dice and I'm a gambler, so that's where that came from. And then my most recent tattoo, which is probably my biggest piece, is on the back of my neck. I'm gonna just put it up here somewhere, like a picture right here. And uh, it says Carpet DM, or DM. I'm not sure if I'm even saying it right. I've never actually heard anybody say it. But it's from a Roman poet, but it's actually in Latin, which I'm still kind of confused about. But anyways, I like it because it means to seize the day, give little thought to the future, and live in the moment, live in the present, you know? So the reason why I got that is because I'm always a type and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, but I always think about the future heavy and that shit kind of gives me a little anxiety, you know? I'll start thinking about failure at that point. The quote is basically saying, if you focus on now and you're doing everything you need to do now, there's no reason for you to worry about the future. It's not saying don't think about the future, it's just saying there's no reason for you to worry about the future if you're doing everything you need to do right now. So that's why I like that, you know? And plus, cease the day, kill it, kill the day, live day by day. Easier and said than done, but you know what I mean, you can try. All right, and then like right above that clock that I have, it's a number 13 and all that is is the Friday the 13th tattoo that I went with my sister. She wanted to go. She was like, I want to get a tattoo with you, blah, blah, blah. We waited for a minute. The line moved a little bit, but we realized it's already been like an hour and a half. Are we really going to wait another two, three hours to get a fucking tattoo that is super small? I would feel dumb if we left. We've already waited there for so long, so it's like, fuck it. So the next one I got is ASAP, it's on my chest. It's just, you know, always strive and prosper. If you always strive, you'll prosper. Yes. I love that saying. Easy, simple. And now the other one is a Kanye alternative cover of my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. It's just one of my favorite um, 
Kanye albums. So yeah, that one was pretty cool. I got that one maybe uh, at least four or five years ago. The last one I got is the one right here on my arm. It's on, it's on my right arm. Can't really tell. All right, so I got that one. Um, I want to say junior year. And it's kind of funny too, because my mom took me. And people might think, oh, that's fucking crazy. But hey, regardless, I was gonna go. In her mind, she's probably just like, you know what? I'm gonna make sure I drop him off where he needs to be dropped off and I know where he's at rather than he's gonna go regardless, you know? I've always been that type of kid, man. And shout out to my mama for being pretty understanding. It just says you fought hard and it has my grandpa's name. You know, he passed away. So it's just like a... He was in the hospital for a minute and I had boxing gloves on there. You know, boxers, they fight hard, they got heart. And you know, my grandpa fought hard to the end. So that's where that came about. And I want to say that's all my tattoos, really. Got my dice, Vinny Vedi Vecchi. Got my grandpa, that's three. Got my big old neck tat, that's four. The small 13, that's five. ASAP, six. Uh, Kanye alternative cover seven and then the C money that's eight so hopefully y'all enjoy this video make sure to go check out the website risktakers.com let me know if you fuck with it it's still in the construction but it's up and running the buy shit if you like anything that's on there constructive criticism we're good with that on my side so you know if you don't like some shit say it and also if anybody ever wants to, um, you know, do a smoke about it episode, let me know. I usually prefer to do it with somebody else so we can bounce off each other and stuff like that. But so, yeah, man, y'all make sure to leave a like, prescribe, drop a comment. Let me know what's good. Dislike that shit if you don't fuck with it. And see y'all for episode three.